Zainab says, a few months ago, I would sometimes pray some prayers 10 minutes before the next prayer or before midnight, in the case of Isha. And then the adhan for the next prayer would go while I had one rak'ah or in the tashahud. Are these prayers valid? This question has two parts. Is what Zainab doing correct? And are the prayers valid or not? As whether it's correct or not to delay the prayers till this extent, definitely this is not correct. In the hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him, he said, I asked the Prophet والسلام, which deeds are most beloved to Allah Azza wa Jal? A straightforward question. So the Prophet said والسلام, in the first choice and first reply, he said to pray on time. And in another narration, he said to pray at the beginning of the time. This indicates that the quicker you are to pray, the better. For an ex with an exception of two prayers. The first prayer is Dhuhr. In summer, when it is burning hot, the Prophet told us والسلام, in order to ease it for his companions who come and attend the Salat in the Masjid, he said, delay it until it cools down. And scholars say that delaying it until just before Asr time is best for the companions because it's too hot. Nowadays, women in their homes should pray at the beginning of the time because whether it's in the beginning or the end, the temperature is the same in their homes. With the air conditionings now, alhamdulillah, we don't have to delay it until it cools down because it's already cool in the masjids with the air conditionings. Number two, Salatul Isha, the prayer of Isha, because the Prophet told us, السلام, it is best to delay it until the first third of the night has gone. So approximately, we're talking about 10.30 uh, uh, p.m., approximately, give or take, to 11. And this is for women who pray at homes. But for those who pray in congregation, this is not applicable because most people pray 15 minutes after the Adhan of Isha, maximum of 20 minutes. Other than that, pray the prayer at the very beginning of the time, just after the Mu'addin gives the Adhan, give 10 minutes, 15 minutes for Sunnah prayer and to get prepared and then call for the prayer. Now, delaying it just before the time ends is dangerous. And not only that, it is a sign of hypocrisy. The Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, that the prayer of a hypocrite, and subhanAllah, a hypocrite, we know that he is evil and that he's in hell, yet they pretend to pray where actually they have, their intent is corrupt, they lack sincerity, and as a sign of that, they pray on their own, but they choose to pray just right before the time ends, in the case of Asr, just right before the sun sets. So the Prophet tells us that they sit idle, they do not pray Asr prayer, until they see that the sun is just about to sit, the sun is just about to set, they go and pray it in a very fast fashion. Like when the roaster takes uh, 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 grain from the ground. They just do this as sujood. 
This is what the Prophet tells us, alayhi salatu wasalam. So it is very dangerous. Now coming back to the validity of salat, is it valid or not? The Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever offers one raka, which is a complete raka, before the sun sets, he had prayed in the right time. So if you finished one full unit of Asr, and while you were in the second unit reciting, for example, the Fatiha, the sun had completely set, your prayer is valid. But if you began your prayer and you did not finish a full raka, a full unit, and the sun had set, this prayer was not performed on time. Therefore, Zainab, you should be very careful and you should ask Allah for forgiveness because what you had done in the past is extremely wrong and dangerous. The Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, by the way, whenever he was among his companions, he used to say and address Bilal. And Bilal was the one appointed to call for the prayer. So he used to say, Bilal, arihna biha. O Bilal, comfort us with prayers. Call for the prayer. So the Prophet viewed prayers as a comfort to the soul. Nowadays, we are hastened to pray, not as a form of comfort, rather as a form of relief. So instead of saying, O Bilal, comfort us with it, we say, O Bilal, relieve us from it quickly. Come on, let's get it over with. We just want to take the burden off our shoulders. And this shows you the difference between them and us.